Raise up your right hand to the heavenly. O thou that troubled my Israel, the God of Elijah shall trouble you tonight. In the name of Jesus. The God of Elijah shall trouble you tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for bringing us here by your power. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This evening, Lord, by the power that divided the Red Sea, and by the power that disgraced Goliath, by the power that brought a man to the tree he prepared for Bodekar, let the power of great deliverance come upon your people here tonight. In the name of Jesus, open our understanding. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Before you sit down, beloved, I'd like you to go to seven persons and say to them, Every arrow fired against your destiny this year shall backfire. In the name of Jesus. Say it to seven persons. Every arrow fired against your destiny this year shall backfire. Say to seven persons again, instead of regret, you shall have testimonies in the name of Jesus. Say to seven persons. Instead of regret, you shall have testimonies. You are going to say to seven persons again, your trouble is in trouble. In the name of Jesus. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Bless of us, God bless you. Amen. Now, I'd like you to listen very carefully to this short teaching of tonight, upon which we're going to direct all our prayers for this meeting. This concerns everybody and no one is left out for me why bow down your head say my father prosper me tonight in the name of jesus Amen. We're looking at what I titled Deliverance of the Brain. 
deliverance of the brain. And I'd like you to listen very, very carefully. This may sound very strange to many of us, but it's a very serious matter. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, we see one of the most profound verses in Scripture. Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. It's no matter how you try, the devil can never be your friend. And between thy seed and a seed, no matter how you try to, whatever emanates from you, the enemy cannot be friendly with it. Then came this deep statement. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Again, referring to the shiftest part of the body. You can bruise a person's heel, the person will still remain alive. But by the time you bruise the head, and that head is completely broken, the person is not going anywhere anymore. Try and put this scripture into your spirit. Look at another scripture in Second Samuel chapter 1. Second Samuel chapter 1, verse 16. And David said unto him, Second Samuel chapter 1, verse 16. And David said unto him, Thy blood be upon where? Thy head. For thy mouth hath testified against thee, saying, I have slain the Lord's Almighty. Again, the head being referred to there. Now in the book of Psalm 7, Psalm, Psalm 7, look at what it says in verse 16. His mischief shall return upon his own head. That's all we need from there. Keep that in your heart too. And then you know the popular Psalm 23, verse 5. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. It is the head that was anointed to make the cup to run over. Go back to the Old Testament in Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 19. 19.28 Leviticus 19.28 gives this small warning. Ye shall not make any cuttings into your flesh for the dead, nor print any mark upon you. There is a reason for that. Please keep this at the back of your spirit too. Now the head is the symbol of your destiny. The head is an important part of the body. The chiefest part of the body actually. A person may lack legs and still remain alive. I've seen someone without two legs and he was still alive. A person can lack two hands and still be alive. A person can lack two legs and two hands and still remain alive. It is even possible that a person may lack one internal organ or the other. But the person will still remain alive. I've seen a sister that they took away practically all the organs inside her because of cancer and she was still talking. But it is not possible to see a headless person and the person still remains alive. It is the head that houses the skull, the eyes, the nose, ears, the mouth, and then the brain. The brain is the coordinating center of the whole body. This is why it has not been possible for those who are into medicine to transplant people's brain. Will you take the brain of somebody, put it into somebody else, it's like it just change its nature completely. The human brain is so powerful that compared to a computer, it is far more superior. Although every animal has, every animal has some form of brain. Birds, reptiles, fish, they have some form of brain. But the human brain is completely unique because it gives us the power to think, to plan, to speak, to imagine. It controls your body temperature. 
it controls your blood pressure. The rate at which your heart is beating, it controls it. It's the brain that makes you to think, to dream, and to reason. And this is why in deliverance, once the spirit of death enters into the brain, that's the end. I remember a testimony today as I stand before you this evening. This happened in a place called Akure. That was a crusade, a night, a night crusade like this. And after the end of that meeting, there was a word of knowledge. That there is somebody here whose brain has been caged. That once the person gets home, the person should look under the bed. And right there under the bed, this person will know why his brain has been failing him. There was a brilliant student in that crusade. Any class work he was always number one, number one, number one. He's number one until the exam day. But immediately the exam day comes and they say, right. He drops his pen and slips off. And after the exam, he will wake up. But they kept promoting because the teachers too could not understand why the person who heads the class in all class work cannot take the exam. And this was what was going on. So that night, this boy got home and he looked under his bed. He was not expecting to see anything, actually. But as he looked under the bed, there was this ancient small pot. The boy brought it out. Inside that pot was a brain filled with palm oil. What they did was this. Anytime the exam was at hand and the oil slips, he sleeps too. He brought it to the crusade. This is not a vision or dream. He brought the thing to the crusade. Now two things puzzles one. Number one, how come his brain is inside his pot and the brain is still inside his head? Number two, what kind of palm oil is this one? He brought it into the crusade. They anointed the thing, broke it to pieces, set it ablaze. All of a sudden, he fell flat on his face. And I'm, as from that day, all that sleeping in examination sucks. I want you to understand that the brain of man is a primary target for the enemy. It's a prime subject of attack by powers of darkness. That's why parents should not take it as a low or little thing when you see a child doing well in school and it just goes down. The brain can receive an arrow. The brain can be polluted. The brain can be padlocked. The brain can be caged. The brain can be transferred. We ran somebody through deliverance in 1995 for seven days. And what this little girl was telling us that she had exchanged the brain of all her brothers and put the one for cow and goats inside. That's why they would say one plus one and the man would say three. And he was not doing like that before. The brain can be demoted. The brain can be downgraded. The brain can be blanked off. The brain can be bewitched. And this is one area we don't normally target our prayers. Once the enemy padlocks the brain of a person, the destiny of that person is finished. In fact, to be quite honest with you, the difference between the rich and the poor is information. Information that they have. And now they are able to use that information. So any satanic alteration of a person's brain changes the person's life. There are many people listening to me here tonight who need to cry to the Lord seriously because of what the enemy had done to their brain even before they got born again. There are many students here tonight who need to cry to the Lord seriously. How can you teach somebody and the person passes and you that you taught the person you failed? Something has gone wrong somewhere. How come somebody will be repeating and repeating the same examination? And then he comes out and says, praise God, you see, I answered all the questions. But he didn't know that what he was writing was opposite to what was there. Because the brain has fallen under attack. So you see, it's a serious matter. Since the brain is responsible for our ability to function, and ability to use all our organs in the body correctly, the enemy has attacked this area seriously. We prayed many years ago at a crusade. 
that kind of crusade was so serious that people came there and they wanted to run out of the crusade. So we told them that you can't go home. You must pray the prayer. Now somebody trying to run away like that and we held this person down. You oh, must pray the prayer. Those, that was in those days. But they asked them to hold anybody down now. <laughs> we held this person down. As we held the person down, this person began to confess to witchcraft. Now something he said that day. He said he had converted the brain of all the children in the family to sawdust. So he was normally the only one who came home with an examination result that says passed. All other person in the family failed. They had converted their brains to sawdust. And we said, why? So because well, uh, when we get home after the examination, daddy always gives three pieces of meat to the person who does well. So those ones who fail, we will, will collect their meat. So because of meat, you are taking away the brain of these people? He said prayer will bring it back. The brain is responsible for our intelligence, for our memory power, our speech, taste, smell, sight. It maintains our balance. This is the way the reason you're able to walk straight is because our brain is in okay. When the brain is under attack, there are symptoms by which you can recognize it. Beloved, the blunt truth is that there are many, many mad people walking about every day. It is not when somebody lands in a psychiatric hospital they say he's mad. A lot of people are seriously mad and they're just walking about because the enemy has attacked the brain. What are these symptoms by which you know whether a brain is under attack? Moodiness. Somebody is always moody. Fearfulness. Unreasonable fear. Bad decisions. Just take this decision. You wonder, this is bad. Why did you take this kind of decision? Insanity. Negative thinking. You will be surprised that some people are always thinking negative. 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 Decreased motivation. Not motivated at all. It's just sitting down there. Oversleeping. It's, the brain is under attack. Stroke. It's a brain under attack. Lack of interest in the welfare of others. Suicidal feelings. All these are symptoms that that brain is under attack. Unreasonable crying. Unexplainable forgetfulness. That is a lot of problems now. Poor concentration. Can't concentrate. Always predicting the worst. If anything is happening, he's always looking at the worst thing that could happen. Unexplainable headaches. Constant unexplainable headaches. Heart problems and chest pains. These are symptoms that a brain is under attack. Feeling dizzy and faint always. Being unsteady on one's feet. All these are symptoms that that brain is under attack. There are some people, no matter how hard they work, they don't sweat. Brain under attack. And there are some people, cold flashes are always going through their body. The hands will run cold, the legs will run cold, and they're not sick. Brain under attack. This short attention span, don't pay attention for a long time, is evidence that there's brain under attack. There are many people now sitting down listening to us here. But you may be amazed that the heart of some people may be somewhere else entirely. Brain under attack. Chronic lateness. There are some people, they are always late to anywhere at any time. Constant poor time management. Always managing your time badly. Badly. Disorganization. You don't do anything that is organized. Procrastination. All these are evidence of brain under attack. When a person has a problem learning from a bad experience of the past, something has happened before and it's bad and you didn't learn from that one. Brain under attack. When a person is not able to avoid making careless mistakes, brain under attack. All the poor finishing, poor planning, 
or the lack of clear goals they are signs of brain under attack we need to cry to the lord seriously today beloved the enemy knows that once that brain is captured the destiny changes forever beloved many of us need to understand that if you change your brain you will change your life if something positive happens to that brain you upgrade it you completely change your life all the excessive daydreaming just they dream and they dream and they dream brain under attack restlessness can't just sit down somewhere quietly for a little bit brain under attack always seeking for conflict fight fight quarrel that brain is sick the only talkativeness you talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk 300 words per minute 500 words per minute it's brain under attack they have asked you a question you can you didn't even hear the question you are answering the question it's brain under attack when a person has great difficulty awaiting his or a turn he is not patient to take his turn brain under attack all the addictive behaviors addicted to alcohol addicted to drinks addicted to snuff addicted to sleeping addicted to food is an attack on the brain all this road rage people fighting on the steering wheels is brain under attack when somebody has intensive dislike for change don't like to change your ways at all you just want to continue the way you are all these are symptoms that that brain is under attack all the misfired aggression always fighting the wrong battle fighting the wrong person is brain under attack brain under attack a person wants to marry a wife the wife can only speak french and you can only speak english both of you don't understand what both of you are saying and you want to marry it's madness the brain thunder attack all this over sensitivity to insult so they have insulted me that's insulting that's insulting you are crazy because what what is it that you have that god did not give to you so who are you really that you cannot be insulted <laughs> was jesus not insulted didn't they spit on jesus didn't they slap his face the person who can say let that hand you used to slap my face become ashes just say well it's not your fault they know not what they do all this heavy dosage of coffee every dosage of chocolate every dosage of sweet sweet things is madness smoking in fact anyone who smokes your brain can never be the same again if you have smoked before it can never be the same again if you want your brain to be hundred percent normal you don't smoke you don't drink all the chronic sense of hatred you just feel that everybody hates you nobody likes you brain under attack all these hearing things wrongly they will talk to you you say ah, this is what you said they say, no that's not what we said bro. this is what we said say i'm sorry i didn't know but meanwhile you have scattered your place you have caused a lot of trouble i want you to understand that there is a department in the demonic arena their job is to specifically target the head the brain of man i want you to know that if your brain is in captivity in slavery in oppression you will be seeing what god wants you to become and you find that you cannot become it when your brain is demonized evil spirit inside that brain it will confuse you and make sure you do the wrong wrong things when a brain is being cursed or it's under spell it's under bewitchment and those things are not broken the person will use his brain the wrong way the wrong wrong way he will be using evil intelligence when there's a yoke on the brain or there is a band of wickedness around the brain and it is not broken the person will be what the bible call a devisor of evil devise evil you sit down plan evil 
when the brain is under an evil covenant and you do not break that covenant you'll find that you just remain at one level i want you to understand this very well this is why one is happy when sometimes after going through deliverance going through prayer some people say well i want to go and improve myself i want to go and educate myself for that that is something has cleared away from that brain some have agreed with the enemy that they cannot go beyond where they are when there's an evil seed inside the brain and that seed is not uprooted that's when the person says, uh, I, want, I want to prepare for an exam i want to read and anytime he carries that book it slips off i need to say memorize scriptures trouble there's something inside the brain pushing out the scripture when there's a satanic embargo on somebody's brain that you cannot go anywhere the brain remains where it is tonight we need to pray and this is the purpose of this meeting maybe this is why the bible says don't swear by your head because swearing by your head means you are swearing by your brain too what do we do here tonight you need to repent of any known sin and that is very important number two thing that you need to do tonight for deliverance for the head and the brain is to break curses that is attached to that head first of all repent break curses attached to the head three is to receive every blood transfusion every blood transfusion and the blood from heaven flows into your bloodstream it will energize your body your soul and your spirit and it will deal with any arrow any seed planted in any part of your body the fourth thing to do is to deal with the serpent and scorpions in the head deal with the serpent and scorpions of the head tonight we need we have prayers to pray here and um, this message is for so many people here when you forget what you should not forget begin to remember what you should not remember the time you need the brain to function it does not answer at that time when you don't need it then it will remind you what you ought to have remembered many of us who come from polygamous homes you know that the brain that was attacked is what brought you to the level you are now and so you need to stand up by the power of god and decide that that brain has to receive deliverance and that it needs to be upgraded no matter what you are doing on earth if the power of god is released upon your brain the anointing force upon that brain you will outshine others who are doing exactly the same thing rise up on your feet beloved all eyes closed we're not here to play tonight beloved we're here for serious business and anything can happen tonight here get yourself prepared and ready all eyes closed if you are here this evening and you are not born again and you have not just surrendered your life to jesus do so very quickly now very very quickly now by raising up your right hand where you are god bless you as you do so those of you raising up your right hand say the following things after me say father in the name of jesus i come before you now lord jesus come into my life take control of my life in jesus name amen now if you are in this meeting and you know that all is not well with that head sometimes you don't even know how that head is behaving sometimes it's develops serious headache sometimes it just blanks out you don't know what is happening sometimes you just feel dizzy and the ground is turning before you there's an arrow in the brain that needs to go back to the sender lay your right hand on your head now this first prayer i want you to pray is a surgical prayer of the holy ghost that will bring instant result hours of darkness fired into my brain if i were in your shoes i would shout it loud at that If you are a student here, I will shout it even louder than that. Die! In the name of Jesus.
Deal with the arrows of darkness. Deal with the arrows of darkness. Deal with the arrows of darkness. Arrows of darkness fired into the brain. Must die. Must die. Must die. Must die. Masseka Poyabo Shinderabo Center. Command the arrows of darkness to die. In the name of Jesus. 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 Masepoko Shinderabo. Aha. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Arrows of darkness fired into the brain. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. Arrows of darkness fired into my brain. Your time is up. 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 Arrows of darkness fired into the brain. Die! In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. I told you, how many things are about to happen here? That's right. That's right. Yes, something is happening to that sister. There's an exchange going on. An exchange, an exchange. Return the brain, return the brain. Return the brain. In the name of Jesus. The power of outside wickedness upon my brain. In the name of Jesus, Masipakaya Boshentera Boko Senteyaba. Open your mouth, beloved. Open your mouth. That's why you are here. Don't negotiate with the enemy. Don't negotiate. Don't negotiate. Enough is enough. Aha, uh aha, -huh, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. That's the fire. That is the fire. That is the fire. That is the fire. Masapoka yabo shente yaba. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Yes. Say my head. Can you say this loud and clear? Reject every bewitchment. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Reject every bewitchment in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. I mean, those things that we have said, let's experience the power of God to change destinies now. Yes. It's happening. That's the fire. 
That's the fire. That's the fire. That's the fire. That's the fire. Yes. Silence, beloved. There are three persons are sitting on your head. Yes. And that power is being cleared up from the head. This next prayer is for those who want the Lord to upgrade their brain. Say, my brain! Wake up by fire! In the name of Jesus! In Jesus' name we pray. To any power calling my head for evil, scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter, scatter. There was no scattering. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus, no we pray. Something is happening. I fire back every arrow of witchcraft fired into my memory. Pray this prayer well. I fire back every arrow of witchcraft fired into my in the name of Jesus. That's right. That's it. That is it. Jesus name we pray my sister and I want to beg you in Jesus name that if you pray this particular prayer and your voice goes and the miracle happens you have won a powerful wonderful prize here tonight my brother I want to beg you too if you don't like the way life is treating you pray this prayer with all the strength you can gather Evil and laid on my head while I was a little child. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? I'm sure you can shout it louder than this. Jesus, kill the hand. Pata sate kayaba, ribala baka panda sate kayaba, Maria doko sopende kayaba shenta. 
Mapola Kayabo Shantayabo Kolaba Santayaba. Yes. Oh, pull them out. Oh, pull them out. Don't be afraid. Something is happening. Something is happening right there. That's right. Be released. 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 In the name of Jesus. Be released 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 in the name of Jesus. Pata Sata. Every evil hand laid on my head when I was a baby. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Today is today. Enough is enough. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Something is happy over there. Something is happy. Please, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Now shake that head. Shake it vigorously. That's right. Yes. Masika tenda ya bushente rabo. Ribola biya ni katesandia. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Silence now, beloved. Silence. What a wonderful night to be here. Surgical exchange is going on. Thank you, Jesus. Stolen brains have been returned. Exchange ones have been returned. Transferred ones have been returned. Failure is being buried. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord for what he has done just now. Praise his only and mighty name. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I'd like you to turn to somebody. You pray for that person and the person will pray for you. Before we now pray the final prayer for yourself and go. You pray for that person from your heart. Where the enemy says you will not reach. Can you say that to the person again? Where the enemy says. Get there by fire. In the name of Jesus. You must arrive there by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Turn to another person. Turn to another person. Every demoting power of your fathers are... In the name of Jesus, the demoting power of your father's house, their time is up. Mashitesa, the Kapolaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Turn to another person. Fashion to manipulate your brain. In the name of Jesus, let the manipulative power be destroyed. 
Masoteka Poya Boshente Raba. Jesus name we pray lay your hands on your chest now blood of Jesus transfuse my body can you shout it loud and clear in the name of Jesus let there be a spiritual blood transfusion. A spiritual blood transfusion. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, 